This video is going to be um, an advanced accountancy uh, demonstration on how to set up and perform contrapayments. Uh, a contrapayment is considered when a customer is essentially also a vendor and there are balances on the debtors and creditors side. Um, what you can do is contra these payments together um, and either increase or reduce uh, their liability. Uh, so to start with, um, you need to create a new GL account uh, for your suspense payments. Um, so I like to do this uh, as just a, um, I actually make an account specific to contra payments. So it doesn't really matter where you put it, I'd speak to your accountant, but I've just got 2999 as my contra payments um, GL account. This is where I'm going to pay both the uh, supplier invoice and the customer invoice from. The next thing we want to do is create uh, a new uh, journal template. Um, so if I search for payment journals, what you'll see here is that I have um, various payment journals here, but nothing to uh, nothing related to a contra payment. So to make a new one, um, I search for general journal templates. And at the bottom here, uh, you just add uh, a new template. So this one is going to be called contra. So we'll call it uh, Contra Payments. The type will be uh, Payments. And the GL account is going to be my Contra GL account. And the uh, we just need to select a number series. Uh, so I will search for Payment Journal. Number series is not that important, but I would, um, in your system by default, you should have this uh, number series. Uh, and you'll see how this will work uh, shortly. So what I've done, I've gone into general journal templates, created a new payment called Contra, Contra Payments, and then selected the account that I want to balance the payments against. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, use this new template. So if I search for payment journals, you can see here I've got a new journal available, uh, this Contra Payment. Um, so what the journal does essentially is it predefines the document type, the document number, and the balancing account. So you can see that these three things have been predetermined for me. So what I need to do now is select the vendor. So we're going to select the garage hire vendor. And in the second line, we're going to change it. Again, it's still a payment, but now it's a payment to a customer. And I'm going to select the customer I want to contra with, uh, which is also garage hive. So garage hive as a vendor and garage hive as a customer. The next thing you need to do is create yourself a new payment method code. So this is really quite simple to do. You just select the drop down. Uh, you see in this demo I've already made one, but you select from full list and you have your payment methods, select edit list and very simply just add the uh, contra um, code and just select uh, contra payment as a description. What you can also do if you want to is actually add the contra account, the balancing account. Uh, but this isn't essential when you're actually using uh, journals. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have the same setup for the second line. So we've got two lines in this journal, a payment to a vendor and a payment to a customer, and they're both balancing against the contra account on the chart of accounts. So now what I need to do is apply these documents to apply these um, journals to a particular document. What I could do is just have balances so I could make like payments just to the accounts. But in this case, we're actually paying off two documents that are the exact same value. So we'll have applies to document number. We'll select this one document here. So you see it's pre-populated with a thousand pound here. In the next line down for the customer, we're going to select the other thousand pound invoice. So you can see that this customer and vendor both have an invoice for a thousand pound. Um, and we're going to pay them both off using the same account on the same day. So what will happen, we'll have um, money go to this vendor from this account here. And then money go from the customer to this account here. And it will balance this account back down to zero. Now if the transactions weren't the same value, so for example, let's say you owed the customer a thousand pound, but the customer only owed you 800 pound. Once you've applied it to the document, you just have to reduce the amount here uh, to make the journal balance. So we're ready to actually post this transaction now. Now, before you post any journals, a uh, quick tip on the uh, actions posting, you have this preview posting button here. So if I press this button, first of all, it's gonna tell me if there are any errors with the journal. 
um, it won't let me get to this screen. But once, um, if the journal you've written is correct, it's going to take you through to this screen and actually show you the entries to the accounts before you post the journal, which is really uh, useful for like a, a quick QC check. So if I select GL account, I can see um, all the accounts that are being affected. So I can see that the um, credit control account and the debtors control account get affected and uh, twice the contrapayments get affected. So you can see the contrapayments are going to balance back out to zero. Likewise, I can look at the vendor ledger entries um, and the customer ledger entries if I want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, process post. Do I want to post the journal lines? Yes. Uh, journal lines were successfully posted. So if we take a look at the customer for Garage Hive, we can see that the balance is now reduced to zero and we have that £1,000 payment. Um, so that's how you set up um, the contra payment. So first of all, you set up a GL account. Then you need to set yourself up a um, general journal template. Uh, go through to payment journals. Create yourself a new payment method for contra. Um, the reason why it's useful to not use one of the other payment methods is because if you did select cash or card, for example, then that payment will technically show on the end of day. Uh, whereas a contra payment is not an actual physical payment. You've not received any cash or card. Um, so that's why it's advisable that you set up a separate payment method. Um, you write the journal. You apply the uh, journals to a document. The document will populate the amount. And then preview the posting uh, just to make sure that what you've done um, you're happy with. Uh, and then simply post it. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Thank you.